Almost 70% of smartphone owners in the world cannot live a single day without their smartphones. And more than 50% of smartphone owners believe that their phone is the most valuable asset they own. Being born in a tech-driven world, we naturally get attracted to every other newly launched smartphone, especially iPhones. Nowadays, many major smartphone brands offer remarkable trade-in promotions for users looking to upgrade their phones. And Apple is one such company. Apple has heavily promoted its trade-in program in recent years, encouraging users to give up their old iPhone in exchange for a discount on a new model. Over a third of Apple Store customers now utilize this program. But it left many people wondering, why Apple even wants your old iPhone? Apple plays a mind game with its customers, and faithful customers easily fall for the trap. The company knows human psychology, and they offer programs and promotions based on it. After using the iPhone for about two or three years, they know that people start looking for another device, and either hand over the old one to someone in the family and friends looking for an iPhone, or sell their old iPhone as a second-hand unit to the local smartphone dealer. Unfortunately, all of the above acts hammer down the company, resulting in reduced sales of new iPhones. Apple introduced a trade-in program when the company's first quarterly profit decreased in 2013 after a long time. But the Cupertino, California headquartered firm started focusing more on it through advertising after the launch of the iPhone X. This is iPhone X. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. The idea was simple. The iPhone X was the costliest iPhone when it was launched for the first time, and purchasing it was quite a hefty investment. A large number of customers wanted to buy it, but couldn't afford the price. And that's when Apple aided customers with a trade-in promotion and offered them a credit value for their old iPhones. iPhone's durability leads customers to buy older versions without any second thought. And since Apple launched its trade-in program, customers are on cloud nine. But if you look at the big picture, it's supremely profitable for the company. Whenever customers opt for a trade-in program, they move from an older iPhone to a newer iPhone, automatically keeping users locked into Apple's ecosystem, which best benefits the company. Secondly, by refurbishing the older iPhone and reselling it for a more affordable price in the market, Apple makes double profits from a single handset, boosting their overall revenue. This trade-in program basically solves two problems the company faced. Slowing iPhone sales due to market saturation, and users waiting longer to upgrade due to the iPhone's price rising year after year. Trade-ins bring down the device's price and allow more users to upgrade sooner. Apple created a robot called Daisy specifically for this purpose. It's able to disassemble 200 iPhones an hour while recovering recyclable materials that would otherwise be left in landfills. This approach was required in order to achieve Apple's goal of a closed-loop supply chain, where all new products would be manufactured without pulling new materials from the earth. Apple has yet to achieve the goal, but they are taking steps like using 100% recycled rare earth materials in the iPhone 12. Perhaps the biggest downside with Apple trade-in is that you can't put any of the value of your trade toward anything but an Apple product. If you're trading in your device with an active order on Apple.com or the Apple Store app, that credit is going straight back to your card. And if you decide to trade in a device without a purchase, you're going to be stuck with an Apple Store gift card. That may or may not be a concern for you. Also. Apple's trade-in values are never going to compete with those of third-party buyback sites. In fact, as Mac Rumors published in November 2021, Apple has recently dropped the maximum trade-in prices for the iPhone and other devices. Now, you'll get even less if you decide to sell your phone back to Apple. Apple offers trade-ins for both Apple devices and devices from other companies such as Samsung. And prices vary based on the original cost of the device, the device's age, the device's condition, and other factors. It's worth noting that most people will be able to find better trade-in deals elsewhere, with the best prices available from selling devices directly to another person.